come wash the Bronco with me today. Buckle up, Buttercup! We all know that I get Buttercup dirty all the time, but in today's video, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna get her clean. I'm gonna show you all the products that I use, some cleaning tips, and then we're gonna see how the wrap has held up because all this crap that you see on here has been stuck on here for over a month. So I went off-roading over a month ago and it got very, very muddy. Unfortunately, I have been extremely busy and I've been wanting to do this in the afternoon, evening time because obviously doing it in the middle of the afternoon is not great. But then I live in Florida and it decides a thunderstorm every day at three o'clock once my driveway gets shady. So that's been my dilemma. So today we're gonna hope that we're not gonna get a lot of water spots but I think we're gonna do okay but we're really gonna see how the PPF held up because on my old wrap there were certain Florida muds that seemed to kind of stain my old wrap so since this has been sitting on here for a while I'm curious if it's gonna do the same thing and then as I was walking around I noticed I kind of have like a pinstripe in the PPF and I was told when I got this done that all I needed to do is sit it out in the sun or get like a blow dryer or heat gun and it should self heal so we're gonna try that out today but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the inside of the Bronco I always start with the inside because I hose it out and then it's just gonna get the whole body of the Bronco wet anyway so there's no sense to to spend all the time on the outside cleaning it when it's just gonna get wet and messed up. So let's get started. I hope you're ready. <laughs> you didn't think I was gonna do that. No, and the water was scorching hot. By oh, the way. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm gonna start by hosing out the inside of the Bronco. Now this is one of the biggest reasons why I upgraded to the Badlands because I wanted the washout flooring. My outer banks did not have that. I know since then things have changed and I think washout flooring is available on all the Broncos now and the marine grade vinyl. I don't know, I can't keep up with all the changes. I'm keeping this one for a while so I don't have to really worry about that. I'm gonna give it a good spray down and then once everything kind of dries and drains out, I do have an interior cleaner that I go through and get the rest of the grime out. All the products I use, I get from Amazon. They're also readily available at Walmart and I think even Target. But if you wanna support the channel, be sure to go down in the description and use my affiliate links because it helps me out. Since I do have some caked on dirty spots, I use this little brush to kind of go in between the cracks and get that out. I do that with the hose. And then you can kind of mix this in with it. This is the Chemical Guys Total Interior. I usually wait till it's all dried out to use this as kind of like a finishing touch. I have had really good luck with Chemical Guys. I've used other brands like Adams and then like Armor All and so many different brands, but Chemical Guys, I can usually find really easily. I get it from Amazon and it's pretty good quality stuff. Sometimes I kind of get the feeling that these brushes could be a little abrasive for some of the interior parts, especially like in the painted area like that. So I do use a microfiber towel to get those places where there's paint or maybe really delicate plastics that I don't want to worry about scratching. Now that the interior is starting to dry off a little bit, I'm gonna use the total interior with the microfiber towel and just start wiping everything down. This is gonna get rid of any water spots or any additional dirt that didn't get hosed out. Since I'm in Florida and do a lot of beachy type stuff, sand is my arch enemy and it is such a pain in the butt to get out. I can hose, I can do whatever and what I have found most useful is using my air compressor and then spraying it with air and then it gets rid of the sand and I can wipe it up. Now, I've only wiped a little bit of the interior after spraying it off with the hose and look how dirty it is. The inside is pretty much done. I'll fine tune and do another wipe down once I'm done with the outside because sometimes water gets in between the door jams and then I'll do 
the window cleaning that's at the very end i use the streak free window clean glass cleaner i'm going to go ahead and just tell you all the products that i use for the complete exterior of the bronco now of course you're going to need some good sponges or microfiber sponges like this so i have a bunch of them i have one dedicated for the wheels i have a scrub brush dedicated for the tires and then i have one for the body and depending how dirty your bronco gets you can have a couple of these dedicated to the body so you could do the first rinse and wash and then all the sand and stuff gets in this one. And then this one is for the final wipe down, really gets it super clean. As you can see, mine gets very, very dirty and I have to wash it multiple times to even get it to look halfway decent. And then I have this big brush right here for the soft top. I've had really good luck with this convertible top cleaner. And they also make a convertible top protectant that I'm actually out of and I couldn't find it at Walmart. So I just have this. This works really well if you're getting that mud staining. So if you go through water puddles that are dirty, you spray the top down with this and then scrub this down. Thankfully, my top isn't that dirty, surprisingly. But once you're done cleaning the top with this and it's all dried off, then you can put the protectant on it and that's just gonna help repel that dirtiness from getting on the soft top. And I think it's really working because that's usually what I do. And the soft top has remained pretty clean. As far as products that I use for the exterior, I have the Mr. Pink. This is the base wash that I use for the body of the Bronco. Then I have the wheel cleaner and what else? Okay, I have two things here. So this is the Silk Shine Protectant. This is like a spray and this is VRP. It's pretty much the same thing. This one's more jelly and gives it a real glossy finish so you can use this on your flares. so if you have the sasquatch flares or really just the unpainted flares sometimes they start to kind of discolor over time this is a good way to wash it off and then once the bronco's clean use this vrp you'll need an applicator like this to put it on your flares this also works on your bumpers so if you have the base bumpers you could do it on that really anything vinyl rubber and plastic it works on so I always spray this all over, let it soak for a little bit, and then I spray a little bit on the tires. That's when I'll get my brush after I do all four of the wheels and tires, give the tires a nice brush down, then I rinse it off, and then I move to the Bronco body. I usually don't like cleaning the wheels because then I find some curb rash on them and I get really sad. Look how brown and gross. I do have some staining a little bit on my tires from when I was at Windrock for Supercell in April. It just shows how little time I've invested cleaning this thing. So I'm glad I made this video because it's really making me focus on all these dirty areas. Is that thunder? Yes. I was hoping I was going to beat the storm. So we're going to have to kind of time lapse this and really rush it so we can beat the rain. Time for number two. It is a fight against time because it is thundering. The clouds are getting closer. So I'm gonna borrow Jim. He's gonna help me wipe it down. We're gonna do the windows and then we're gonna fine tune with the VRP and get all the rubber and plastic all on the windows, the flares and everything because I really wanna show you the finished product before it starts pouring down. Since we got wash number one done, this is the part that I was telling you about. You can see there's a pinstripe all the way right there and then a pretty good gash right there. Thankfully, there's no body damage. It's just the PPF. So we're gonna get the heat gun to see if we can fix that. Moment of truth. I'm only gonna do a little bit at a time because I've never done something like this, but we're gonna find out if this works. These pinstripes right here do look better, but this Nick, eh, I don't wanna say that it's better because it doesn't really look better. And I think that's because the stick really kind of gouged it and ripped the PPF. I don't wanna go and test and do extreme things because I don't wanna damage it. So I may just take it back to the shop to see if they can repair it or anything like that. 
We got Buttercup pretty clean. I think she's going to need another two or three washes, which is pretty typical for the kind of off-roading I do. However, the PPF has held up. I didn't see any staining or anything from the mud, so that's a win. I'm going to do the final touches later. I usually spray foam the tires and I'll go over with the VRP on the flares and everything, but I do want to wash her another couple times before I go do that. But the rain is getting ready to come, so I'm not going to start that now, but we'll do a quick walk around to show you how great she turned out just after one wash. Be sure to check out all my links below. You can get all of these products that I use off of Amazon and that's going to wrap it up for this video. I cannot wait to go back inside in the air conditioning because it is so hot out. Until next time, guys, buckle up, buttercup.